Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter, LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Pick Unum with Colin Mishron Higgins. And we're here uh, the Monday aftermath uh, from LSU's uh, disappointing, maybe shocking defeat uh, by Arkansas, 31 14, same margin as last year, 17 points. It was a beating. Uh, LSU uh, came out of the Alabama game and played poorly. Uh, uh, Jumped up and down saying it was not a hangover. Uh, something was wrong. It wasn't like the, the first seven games uh, when LSU went 7-0. and The offensive line was deplorable. Brandon Harris had a bad game. And Les Miles uh, trotted out some excuses again today that, that I, I, I just I don't see it. I mean, he's... He's saying uh, the defense only gave up three big plays and played great the other 53, which really, you know, is just a way of getting around it. And then uh, Brandon Harris completed 14 out of 16 in one stretch, and that probably came after they were down 21 to nothing. So uh, uh, just uh, not much uh, this week, not much today from Les Miles that really sheds any light. No, not at all. I mean, basically reviewing the things, you know, being – you know, trying to, trying to sp put, spend anything positive on it, and there was nothing positive about that game whatsoever. Just talked to Vidal, Vidal Alexander about the offensive line problems, and he said uh, almost every play there was a breakdown by somebody different. And he said it just, he said it was you know lack of focus, which at this point in the season I don't understand when you lost to Alabama and you're trying to still fighting to stay in the race. There's a lack of focus, but he said there was a lack of focus, and almost every play it was somebody different broke down, and then and that guy got taken advantage of, and the play broke down. Uh, as far as the defensive bust, uh, Jalen Mills talked about, uh, you know, you know, guys taking bad angles and position make, weren't in position to make plays. You know, this part of the year, the part of the year when you're fighting to stay in it, I mean, making the same mistakes you've made all year, and and I'd like to blame players because we play, but coaches get paid very very well to coach and, and correct mistakes, and what we've seen all year is. We've seen penalties. We've seen missed tackles. We've seen this. Uh, uh, we've seen poor line play these last two games. It's almost the same stuff you see all year, and I'm just waiting for it to get better. And we're down to the last two regular season games. It never does seem to get better. And LSU's going into a game that's uh, not going to be easy to win. They they stood a lot better chance of beating Arkansas than going to Oxford and beating Ole Miss, where LSU never plays well. They're going to be facing a spread team. They're going to be running all over the place. It's you know quite different from the last two weeks. Uh, and Ole Miss has a very good defense. They have some very good defensive players back there. Uh, they haven't played all that well at times. But uh, this is a really tough spot for this LSU team to be in. Uh, I think it's 16 years since they've lost three straight games, but it's uh, entirely capable of happening. Absolutely. Ole Miss is a team, first of all, Chad Kelly is an upgrade over Bo Wallace at quarterback. I mean, Chad Kelly might be the second best quarterback in this league behind Dak Prescott. If you look at the numbers he's put up and what he's done from game to game, also as a runner, uh, Ole Miss probably has the best set of receivers in the SEC. Big physical 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys, a bunch of them who can go up and get it, who can turn ordinary plays into, you know, tremendous plays. And Laquan Treadwell, he's a first-round draft choice, a wide receiver. they got other guys, Evan Ingram, they're tight end, who's fast and can get it downfield. And then you go on the defense, Robert Nicomdici on the defensive line, another first-round draft choice. You know, Ole Miss's pass blocking got a lot better when they got Laramie Tunsil back, another first-round draft choice. He'd been suspended for part of the year because of some NCAA stuff during the summer. So this is a team, God, I mean, they've got a lot of talent, and they do play well at home. And I guarantee you, they've had a week off. You know, they had an open date before this game to, to get ready for it, to, to come off that tough overtime loss to Arkansas on that freak play. So they're pretty prompt. And they remember last year's game, they lost 10-7 in Tiger Stadium. That was their first loss of the year. Okay. Well, there you have it. Uh, stay with us on NOLA.com for all the coverage of LSU going into the Ole Miss game. For Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Kleinpeter. We'll see you on NOLA.com.